Yo, how are we doing guys? Welcome to a new video. This is going to be on Outbreak New Dawn, the zombie survival loot em and shoot em. This is going to be a beginner's guide. There'll be timestamps in the description below if you want to skip to a certain part of the video. So anyway guys, let's get on with the video. Alright, so first things first, we're going to start off in the menu because this is where you see everything, you know, if you've got premium, your level, how much XP you need, what your server you're on, uh, weekly missions and all that good stuff. Like, you can see everything here, obviously, you can see you've got your missions in right. So, onto tabs, we're onto customization. Customization, obviously, this is where you customize your character. You can get any of these skins um, from actually playing the game, you can get them in the game from getting uh, doing your missions and stuff like that with the traders You can also unlock them by buying them with D1C, which is the premium currency for the game and You can also buy the cosmetics crates But like I said, you can get everything from just playing the game and then the crates in the game So you don't have to actually spend any money, but you can if you want to It's just a shortcut if you really want to do that Alright, so on to the next tab, we're going to go to the vault. Basically, there's a safe zone in the game. All your loot, you can chuck it into the vault so you can save it, take it out at a later date, all that good stuff, obviously. Your meds, ammo, and stuff like that stacks. But you are limited to how many slots you get. You can get more from the shop or you can get more from playing the game. On to the next one, the skills. So skills, obviously, you're going to do your missions. You're going to level up. You can get um, like better strength, more stamina. Uh, not need to eat as much. The stuff for farming, stuff for guns. There's quite a lot. Onto weapon proficiency. Weapon proficiency, the more you use a gun, the better you're going to get with it. And you can basically pick what you want to do with it. Whether you want the recoil to get better, the damage to get better, spread, range, and anything like that. Like I said, there's quite a lot to this game. It's quite good. I'm really enjoying it. So, yeah, that's the weapon proficiency. All right. On to achievements. So, achievements, it's just a easy XP gain, easy money you know you do some achievements you get a bit of xp you get a bit of money uh, obviously you know my survivor that's just the main menu so on to campaigns campaigns are currently not in the game plans unfortunately again currently not in the game they're coming soon community again not in the game yet it's coming soon the game is an alpha don't forget that and then we've got the cash shop if you want to buy some stuff if you want to spend a little bit of money if you want to get a little bit of an edge it's not a pay-to-win game. You can get everything in the game, but you can give yourself a starter advantage. The redeem game code. If you want to redeem a game code, so how you're going to get them is if you watch people live on Twitch, every 30 minutes you will have a chance of getting a code. It'll get sent to your email and it'll give you a supply box in the game. Then you've also got your friends list. And to be fair, that's about it for the main menu. Also the settings, obviously. But yeah, that's it for the main menu. So let's get into a match. All you're going to do for getting into a match is obviously you want to pick what region you want then click start game. Hideout's currently not in the game yet, so click survival. And then whether you've got premium or not, we'll just, you know, if you've got premium, you can click on premium. If not, then you just go into the official servers. So play game, survival. Official. I'm going to go on premium because I'm a premium, but if you're not premium, then go on official. All right, so you've got into the map for the first time. You're going to start near the safe zone. You're going to see this little green marker. This is going to be your first mission. So all you need to basically do is just run over to that, go and collect it, and then we're going to be running to the safe zone. Also, why we've got a second, if you want to see if you use content on this game or other games like this, you know, your open world type survival games, make sure to subscribe, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification to make sure you get notifi notified when I make a new video. Also, there'll be links in the description to my official Discord and Twitch channel. So that's out of the way, right? So you've got your object now. All you need to do is run into the safe zone, like you right next to it, well, you should be anyway. Yep, so just run into the safe zone and you're going to see your green mark that you're running to. As you get closer, though, you are going to see a second one. Just ignore, as you can see on the right there, just ignore that. Keep going to the other one. And we're just going to run in here. Talk to this NPC. You don't even need to talk to him, actually. You just run in, as you can see in top right corner. Mission updated. So you can press F2. And this will bring up all your mission information. You've got your dashboard, challenges, active quests, completed quests. So we're going to go to the dashboard. Here you can see your dealers and weeklies and stuff like that. So just talk to this NPC. Get your new mission. Radio silence. Click accept. Easy peasy. All right, so we're gonna have a look at the items that we've just got. You can see with the, we got the Mac 20 for doing that. We got a little box. We can look into that, but we're just gonna open the box, take the items out that we need, and we're just gonna sort of self out now. As you can see, we also got a magazine. This is an attachment, so we're gonna put that into the gun. Boom! There we go. Now we've got a 10 round mag rather than a 7 round mag. Drop that mag. You don't need it. 
All right, so we're in the safe zone now. We've done the first mission. We've collected a second mission. We're going to have a look around the safe zone. And then after that, I think you should be good to go. So you've got your vault here in the tent on the right. What did you do? Run up. Hold E. Boom. This way you can store all your items, take any items that you've saved. Yeah, it's just your vault. There's not really much more to say about that. So you can go over to Carlos here. This is a trader. You can buy and sell stuff to him. You can also get more missions from him. So you can do more than one mission at a time. As you can see, buy, sell. I took a couple of items in. I'm not going to because I want these. But I've got weapons, ammo, meds, different types of crates. These are the ones with the cosmetic items in if you want to design character. And then your backpacks. So the thing is... This kind of like works like similar to Escape from Tarkov and you do missions to level up the traders and as you level him up You can then obviously get the better stuff. So we're just going to click on missions So you're just going to click on refuse connections and then you'll have an accept button here I don't have it because I actually already have the mission If I click F2 As you can see dashboard challenges active quests. I've already got it there So all right, so that's Carlos anyway. That's your main trader um, we can run up north. There's going to be another trader around here. This would be the doctor, bishop. I don't have anything for you. Please come back later. So we need to come back after we've done some missions. That's when we can talk to him. You've got the fireplace here if you want to cook some food. Obviously, you're going to need stuff. If you want to cook uh, oatmeal, you'll need instant oats, some sugar, powdered milk, so you can cook yourself better foods and stuff like that. Um... Yeah, this is like all your crafting, so it's mixed in with some other stuff. As you can see, like to cook the oatmeal, it shows like a little fireplace icon here. But to make a sawn off shotgun from a full size shotgun, you need a Winberg shotgun, basic repair kit, you need three of them. And then as you can see here, a bench, that'll be a um, crafting bench. So we'll go and have a look at that now. I'll we'll just press J and turn my flashlight on. You've also got Jamie on the inside of here, but. Uh, James, sorry, but again, talk to me later, so I'll have to do some missions before we can talk to him. If we run over to the southern side, you know, the south side of the base, this is where you'll find the crafting bench and the blueprint bench. So the crafting... Alright, so when you get over to the south side of the base, you'll see the crafting station. Just hold E, there you go, there's the crafting bench. So, to unlock any of these recipes, you need to get some points from leveling up, and then you can just unlock whatever you want, level... For it requires level 3 to make that, level 5 for that, level 10 for that, but most stuff you can just make straight off the bat. Obviously, we should add more stuff into the game later on. But yeah, there's the crafting bench. Last thing is the, well, not the last thing, but yeah, the blueprint bench. So this is the same as crafting, apart from you can't use points to unlock these. You actually have to find the blueprints out in the big bad world before... You can actually make any of these that's why they're locked as soon as you find the blueprints you have to find these cartridges and as you find them don't worry if you pick them up and they don't go into your inventory they go straight to here and when you have them you can craft the items that you're wanting so onto the last thing the mailbox just run over into here talk to the guy and any items that you've had sent to you like say if you got a twitch drop or something like that you just get sent straight here and you can drag these over into your backpack or into the global vault and that'll go straight into your vault. So yeah, that's your mailbox. So I think that's about everything. You should be about ready to go out into the world. So like I said, make sure to hit that subscribe button for future content on this game. Make sure to hit the bell as well. And I'm going to be doing guides for all the missions. Let's click F2. Don't forget you've also got your daily missions, your weekly missions and all that good stuff. So here's the dailies. We've got some weeklies over here, but I am, like I said, I am going to be doing guides for all the normal missions and also doing some gameplay and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped and I hope, I hope to see you in the next one. So I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.